Hello everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We are on the Vagabond series. 7.9 billion people in the world. But the streets are empty of one. They're not gone. They're changed. Where do I go? Don't stop. Never stop. In this world, we are currently crafting a whole lot of stuff. Right now I am working on a hammer. I'm actually going to make another hammer soon because I'm just going to make a workbench with the hammer I'm crafting first. So we have got some more iron being smelted in so we can get some forged iron going. I have not got anything in that one. I have got some yucca juice going because I figure all of the food that I have in here, whatever I can make out of it, I need to make out of it instead of leaving it to gather up for seeds because I'm not going to do a whole lot of gardening. When I find a seed, I'll plant it. Uh, which is basically, okay, it's daytime. Basically what I did here, everything that I had that I could put into these went back into these. So whenever I loot or whatever, I can still plant them, but I'm not going to make a big deal out of them. So what else do we have here that we could actually make? Not a whole heck of a lot. I made a whole bunch of bold foods. Uh, we are going to probably eat those instead of like the canned foods. They stack to 10, which is pretty good. We will see blueberries i don't have anything i combine it with but we'll wait and we'll basically before we take off to another town uh before that horde night on day 14 uh day 15 is when we'll actually leave for the next town we will make sure that we have cooked up everything that we possibly can and taking only the most important bits so that is the idea for that are we done with this yet okay uh let me make one more hammer for me to actually do upgrades with Okay, we've got that. Now I had a... I could have swore I capped one. I had another wrench, I thought. Oh yeah, I've got it on me. I've got it on me. It's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wrench and that hammer. What else did I need for the workbench? Locked. Oh, I still haven't made... I haven't put the points into it that far just yet. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to make a pipe pistol. 2.56... Yeah, I don't actually need that. I forgot I was going to use one of these pistols. Never mind, let's just scrap that back down. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I probably should put these over here for the Horde Knight. These fun. Uh, I wasted some stuff. That's, that's chill. Uh, what else do we need to do? I'm trying to think, what else do we need for Horde Knight? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, traps. Oh my gosh, why was I... I completely spaced. I knew there was something else I was going to do. Um, I need to gather... Oh my gosh. Well, hang on. Oh, uh, how much wood do I have? Since I'm not going to be able to put these inside a workbench and craft, let's go ahead and start crafting those. We'll go cut down some more trees, and... I'm also waiting on the trader to open up so we can get another mission. Uh, we'll work on that as well. Uh, oh. Ammo. Steroids. Trophies. Cool. What is this? Cobblestone. Could be useful. I'm not sure that there's a way I was supposed to get in here. A thousand. I'm not going through there. Ham. Okay. A lot of hit points I have to get through. Cobblestone for repairs. And what about you? Don't actually see a way to get into you. It'd be nice if we could get through a one block gap like the zombies now. Uh, I can't even tell if it's worth getting in here. Uh, sure. I mean, after I open it, it's open then. I don't think I'm optimizing my time here. I'm just curious, and therefore I'm piddling in things, which I probably should be piddling in on a horde night, 
I should be out looking for things that are obvious that I can get to. There. Yes. That's fine, that's fine. I, I should be getting wood. Because that's the thing I definitely need. Uh, let's see. I really admire you, friend. And well, alrighty then. Let's get the uh, we'll take a look at it. Who knows? We could wind up getting some ammo for a horde knight or something like that if I do it. Let's go make sure I have dropped off any additional supplies that I don't really need right this second. Let's run and go check out this bungalow really, really quick. I am anxious to try and get one done. Hopefully we can get it done and not have to worry about leaving the mission or anything like that. Did I do this one already? According to this trash, I haven't. Like one of those crawlers, it's fine. Be a good opportunity for me to get some cobblestone as well, so let's not waste that. Oh. I see you, sneaky. And our satchel is right there, so that part is done. Just in case. I'm gonna have to try and trust that the game knows where all the bad guys are in this particular instance. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to run back through the POI after I get done. I'm gonna have to go and make sure I've got the base ready. So let's try and loot as we go. Mm. Hang on, hey, don't do the poppy thing. Let me up, let me up. Oh. Are you in there? I'm not sure how these people died and got stuck inside a cabinet. No clue. But apparently it's a thing that was very popular with uh, <laughs> the people in this town that we find ourselves in. They're just like, you know what, I think we'll just die in here and turn into a zombie. Looks like somebody's gonna be in there too. Anybody else in this area? No. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Oh, jeez. 
yes, sometimes. There's sometimes that things are creepy and they're not really supposed to be. Every time I pop down one of those things and there's actually a face on the other side, it freaks me out just a little bit, you know? Okay, ooh, cobblestone. Definitely need that. Got two in there. Got it moved. Okay. Looks like they're going to be back behind that. I don't think I'm going to be able to shoot them ahead of time. Whispers. Oh, I woke up one of them. Okay. Uh, apparently all the way around this little U-shape, and then we've got another zombie we need to take care of. Okay. In another room. Gotcha. I'm scared of there being a potential dog in here is my biggest fear right now because I don't even with the guns that I have, it takes a few shots to kill the puppers. Okay, that should be all bad guys. Not that it actually is, because according to, according to Aldo's, uh, the burrs weren't considered part of the bad guys, which is not the case. They actually are, so... I don't know why we were given the clear. Or was it because we weren't doing clear? We may not have been doing a clear. And boots. Chicken soup. I'll take it. Uh, ooh, and the recipe to make the. Oh, okay, I'm. I'm full here. Uh. I don't need that. I don't need that. So I will drop them. I feel like I need to keep the... I guess it's a new type of container, is it? Ooh, robotic damage. Learn how to enhance your robots even to be even more lethal. Robots do 10% more damage. It'd be nice if I had any. But I don't. But uh, are those... Those are baton parts. I need robot parts. Leather trunk. Uh, scrap and take that. Is that all that's up there? <gasps> yes. Okay, so we made it here. Is there an alternate way of getting out of this area? Uh, if there was another way out, I just don't... Uh, I don't even... S okay, uh, I have a leather. I don't actually need that, that's why. Um, do I have a spot for stone? At the very least, for the next Horde Knight, I might need some extra cobblestone, so I probably should go ahead and collect all of the stuff necessary to make more cobblestone. Uh, whenever we go to move, I might make like some flagstone blocks to take it with me, but I don't think I'll actually be carrying all of the stuff and things with me. Uh, for upgrading and stuff like that. I'm going to have to find it in that town. I wonder. 
there any food inside this vending machine? I, I haven't checked it in a couple of days. I don't mind... A uh, can of stock is really not worth it. A health bar might be? I'll take the health bar for tonight. Jason Varhees is going to get his victim. It's fine, dudes. It's fine. Okay, let me run and drop off right quick because I am seriously over encumbered. And we got done with the mission, which is great. I don't see us getting to tier threes with this guy, but there's a possibility we could get to tier threes. I don't know what the tier three reward is, or the end of tier two reward is, but it should be interesting to find out. Uh, drop those. Oh boy, this thing is full. Okay, I might need an actual big box for all of this stuff because it's just a whole bunch of random is what's actually in here. So... Wow. Seriously? Uh, it's about as far as the other one. We can run and go grab that. Uh, let's go do that and then we'll trade in because who knows, we might find something we want to sell. Oh, I got a honey out of that one. Nice. And another stump over here. Not a bad idea, because Horde Knight is coming in, so with Horde Knight there's the possibility of getting smacked in the face by a zombie. I definitely want to be able to take care of any infection as quickly as possible so it does not compound any issues. Oh, there's another stump over there. Hey! Blueberry seed recipe! Nice! Ranged mods bundle, you say. So, what do we get out of that? Uh, muzzle break, hunter mod, and the foregrip mod. Not bad. We could probably pop that into a couple of weapons. And no honey out of that one. Oh, kidoki. There's so many tiny little POIs that I'm like, why is that there? Is there a reason there's that's there? Can I look at it? Is there a treasure in it? These are a whole lot better than what I'm currently wearing, but I just, I can't. I have to, I have to get the AK, guys. I have to, oh my gosh. I wanted those boots. You're not by chance selling those boots, are you? No. Did you restock? It looks like you've restocked. Hang on, let me go get my monies. Let me go get my monies. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and pick up a job for tomorrow. You know, assuming I survive the horde, we're just gonna say when I survive the horde, and go with that. Yes, I've got a few sellables here. Was there anything left in here that I wanted to sell? I'm not using this. Uh, I'm not going to use that, but I probably should put it into a weapon before I sell it. I am probably not gonna use these. Not gonna use that. I, I don't have the ability to take these things with me to the next town, and I'd have to find something in this town I could stick it in, and I don't see that happening. Should I sell all of these feathers? Um, should I sell the feathers? I kind of want to do iron arrows very, very soon. Speaking of which. Uh, do me like 150 of those. And as soon as you're done with that, I'm going to craft me some arrows and get rid of the stone arrows. Okay, so do you have... You've got gunpowder, which could be helpful. If I, oh, you've got a motorcycle. Um, if I had the ability to do anything with it right now, I don't have the ability to make the forge open yet. Honey, I will buy. Well, it, it allows me to get the honey. I could buy a chemistry station. I probably should have made a, not made, but bought a workstation sooner. Um, may not be a bad idea. The recipe for pumpkin cheesecake, not a bad idea. A lot of good recipes in there. Machete schematic. That looks different. Needle and thread. Desert wear. Um, you don't give me what I the, the one Take thing care. I'm actually looking for out of that. Okay, uh... Dog food, eye candy. Maybe for the horde night I'll take the eye candy with me just in case... Uh, assuming I actually remember to use it because I never remember to use those things. 
That way I can get the uh, loot afterwards, which would be really cool. Do I want to try and type Molotovs or Cocktails? Uh, I don't know. This base design really isn't useful in that respect. Uh, oh, I have this. I was going to put into the forge. Is there anything else I could possibly do for the Horde Knight? I don't have a ton of ammo. That's just plain and simple. I don't have a ton. Um, oh yeah, these traps need to be set down. Uh, all right, you need to be down here so I can do these. All right, we should. I say should because with the crawling mechanic that the zombies have, I don't really know if they're going to be able to, you know, do something that they shouldn't be able to do. Uh, but it is entirely possible that they could wreck shop instead of doing what I want them to do. Um, do I... Do I set anything down inside a box? I don't... I don't think I'll need to do that until the end whenever I'm looking through, you know, if there happens to be enough stuff to pick up. Okay. So, now we have that. Is there anything else that we want to do aside from... Rethink the stupidness that I've got going on right here that I am definitely going to fall through. Mm. How much more do I have left? I've got plenty. What I could do, what I could do, uh, is if I have to backtrack for some reason, uh, no, don't, don't do that. I can simply take these pieces out to force the zombies to come through the right way. That's what I'll do. I'll make it where I can yank those out as I'm retreating. Okay. I think we're good to just wait until Horde Night. So... I think the only thing I really don't have a ton of defense against is the birds. I'm not sure if I need to worry about those. Hopefully I can get a hold of those as soon as they get in here. Either that or they're going to be the reason why I get an infection, so that's a thing. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, while we're waiting, I've got three points. Let us do... Uh, two points into that, because I want to take a point into this. So I can do the warp bench and the cement mixer, so next toward night... I might have a chance of producing some of my own ammo. This could get really tedious if I have to constantly worry about ammo on every single Horde Knight. Hopefully that will help out. First official, well, experimental <laughs> Horde Knight. I mean, we did do one on the experimental weekend, but... Just remember, there's a chance they could get stuck in the back of the building and could even possibly work themselves up to this level. So let's do that for a second. Oh my god, that music is loud. That music is so loud, guys. Uh, hang on. Okay. They're stuck on the other side of the fence. So we've got a little bit of time. They spawned over there. And I can't go over there and help them because, well, they're gonna have to figure it out on their own so they can get up to the steps. Oh, he's figured it out. That, that one pole is in the damn way. Uh, I could go over here. Where'd they go? So creepy. I could have actually made it a bit easier by putting- punching holes into the back area to make sure that they could make it all the way through the building, but... You know, I think for this first horde, I can just let them do it for me. 
Jason Voorhees is over there making all of this music by himself. I don't see any other zombies. They're digging around over here somewhere. And I can't hear it over them. Can I change the audio? Because, oh my god. I need, I need to actually be able to hear the zombies over the mu music, you know? What are they doing? Somehow they see a path from over here up to me. Let's just take a peek at and what, what's going on over here. You know? I don't see anybody in there. Can nobody find the stairs? I've had one dude. One dude find the stairs. Watch, they're gonna just show up inside one of these top rooms. I'm never gonna know how they got there. Ow! Hey, gummit! Don't die on your own traps. That'd be stupid. <sighs> I guess we're just gonna stand here and wait, guys. I didn't realize they were gonna have such a hard time traversing my... Fire somebody. They found their way through! Oh, he finally made his way through there. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Almost did it. Nice. Go around, sir. Don't don't sit there and be a dumb. Oh, wait, he's just gonna sit there and- oh god. He's gonna sit down there and break my pathing is what he's gonna do. Ma'am, excuse me. Excuse me. No- oh my god, stop! Doing that! I, I can't stand it when a zo 5,000 zombies can figure it out and you got the one zombie that's gonna break the path for everybody. It's really annoying! I can't tell you, I want that package. Whatever it is, it's mine. Might be the only loot bag I get this entire evening. I'm definitely taking it. I've got eye candy, but I can't guarantee I'm going to have a reason to, to use it, so... I got doorknobs and a fire axe. Might be useful. What is going on? What are you guys doing? Oh. I, oh, jeez. He lost his entire head. Okay, let me stop playing around because these guys will actually kill me. Given half a chance. Just gonna wait right here. Make sure the... Uh, Taylor the Good is now following. Thank you so much for following. Um, please don't tell me that's all of the zombies I had. No, that's not what I had. I walk around here and antagonize some zombies. I'm pretty sure they're just lost. I can hear them banging on stuff, I just don't know where they're at. Are they over here banging on this? Thick! Seriously, what is with you guys in these sections? Was that all of... my horde? Okay, so for Horde and I, basically you're telling me to go around and get rid of these little sections right here because they're just going to get hyper fixated on these little corners and get stuck and not ever come into my trap. What, what's... What's up? That's not cool. Heck, I didn't even eat my big meal, you know? One, one of the fortitude bonus. I didn't eat it. 
I have no idea if that's actually going to help or what, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try it like that. Uh, could have checked all the trash over here, but apparently not. Um, okay, so for next horde night, they didn't actually give me a chance to use this. I think what I'm gonna do is particularly inside each one of these rooms as I'll punch a hole through to the back area so they can pass through the building instead of trying to come in through like specific areas where they're getting confused. And see if that helps and of course we'll make a few more traps but other than that I really didn't see a problem uh, with the pathing other than these steps right here the the bar confusing a couple of them. But I should get a chance to take care of that before the zombies get too terribly bad. But the Horde Knight's done. We got one bag. Not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's go back and chill at our base. Because the, the zombies were disappointing. I am so disappointed with the zombies. They took so long trying to find me, but... Uh, the zombies didn't even have a chance to really path my base properly to see how it worked. Which is always disappointing whenever you're working at a design. You're like, ah, please test this. And they're like, you know, I just think we won't. We'll just play with this stuff and things for no reason. Okay, and I'll just leave those two in case I ever need to use, like, Molotovs or something inside the base I can. And I picked up another one of these. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this day. We're just waiting until four o'clock. Um, for the next week, we have really got to push the jobs. Did we get any more points? I don't think we did, did we? No. Uh, but we're gonna have to push for better barter and daring adventure as hard as possible. And probably into the robotics too, just to help us out so we'll have a variety of ammo because we can make the robots um, ammo with just iron. So that would be helpful. And the sledge don't need any iron, they just have to be repaired every now and then. So having those would definitely help with this playthrough. Um, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be a good one. I don't know about electrocutioner, probably not. And as soon as we can get these guys maxed out, the better. Because we need to work on... I really don't even know what kind of main... Uh, attribute we should be working on because I don't know what kind of I don't have a clue what kind of a weapon we're going to be using because it's going to be all according to what we find and what we can scavenge together to use for ammo because we're not going to be doing a whole lot of huge amount of crafting just whatever we find that can be crafted together not the full process of the crafting just like the end couple of products we'll try and do that uh but we'll see as we go along how this is actually going to work out. We have got five minutes. Let's be absolutely certain. No more zombie spawn. And to make sure I don't log out before four o'clock. Because if you turn your game off and then come back in, uh, the zombies will spawn again. <laughs> I've done that before. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and you stay shiny. Bye.